Welcome back to the channel and today we are diving back into the Instruments of Destruction workshop looking at some more insane creation starting with the SCMT Roller Dash B and this thing oh this thing has such a great aesthetic to it already now this creation is built by Arad more bees for everyone apparently well that explains the honeycomb shape there's some crazy stuff like i haven't spawned in anything yet this is but i can already tell there's some crazy stuff in this episode here let me just give you guys a quick preview this is what we're looking at today like look at some of these thumbnails on these things like we got we got some interesting stuff ahead of us all right but let's see what this thing's all about apparently there's bees involved it's very buzzy you can hear you can hear the buzzing okay Oh, interesting. Remove the wax. Wax on, wax off. Attract bees. Why does it feel like there's something cut off over here? Wax off overdrive. Roll. Okay, let's roll. Oh, we can only roll forward and back, it looks like. All right, remove the... Oh, what? I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what's happening. All right, I'm pressing T. How do you do this? How do you do this? Look at all this. Look at all the bars doing stuff. All right, swarm control. Going forward with the swarm. It's working. This is such a crazy idea. All right, come back, swarm. Okay, attract bees. E. E to attract bees. The bees are returning. Where did the bees come from, by the way? I didn't even, like, see them. They can't fit in here, can they? Wait, they, they don't have collisions? Why don't they have collisions? All right, wax off overdrive. I don't know what that means. I don't know why I'm going that way. Hold on. What is even happening? All right, bees. Assemble. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, well, I I, I don't even, I'm, I'm speechless. I get more and more speechless every single time. It's like, this is just such awesome stuff. All right, I want to respawn again. I want to take a look at the wax thing happening. T. That's just so crazy that all, all those things are in there. That's awesome. Wax off overdrive. I just, like, I'm not doing anything anymore. It's just, it's just happening now. All right, bees forward. There we go. Attract bees. Or do I get to hold it down to attract them, maybe? They're gonna come through this building, destroying it. That's amazing. These bees look so cool, too. All right, well, that's super impressive. Let's see, uh, let's, let's go ahead and just get more impressed with other stuff, too. All right, up next, Scarlet Soldier. Oh, this does not look like... Oh, I, I can see it now. I can see the arms and the legs. Okay. So this is a creation by Serve. A blood rag doll that can extend its tendrils. That sounds interesting. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at it. It's definitely a rag doll. Um, stabilize. O. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is, how it, this is how it goes across the ground, I guess. This is one method of transportation. All right, are we ready to extend some tendrils? Here we go. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that violent. All right, let's go here. Let's just travel into the middle here. Now I'm just minding my own business. Just taking a nap in the middle of the city is all. And then, blah! Ah, ah, ah. This part, these cables, these retractable cables are like some of the most interesting parts to play with. This has to be like, I feel like, I mean, I was gonna say, this feels like some type of supervillain or superhero. I mean, you got Dr. Octopus. This is a little bit more extreme than Dr. Octopus, though. This would be like if Dr. Octopus got bitten by a radioactive octopus and it somehow also radioactivated his technology. Okay, up next. Whoa, we've got Bile Titan. This is built by Agent Taco. Apparently, it's a build from Helldivers 2. I really got to play Helldivers 2. I just don't have any time to play games outside of YouTube right now. I want to. I just don't have time. This is pretty cool looking. Uh, Rampage Sprint. I love the names of stuff. Turning. Don't use while moving. All right, let's try it without moving. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. W to walk. This is interesting to see. Roar. Ready? Oh! Oh! We broke a cable! That's a pretty awesome sound. Alright, I want to roar against the building. Imagine this thing walks up to your office. It's like... <laughs> Whoa! 
I didn't think it was gonna be that destructive. It literally disintegrated it. I thought we were gonna destroy it, like, into debris, but it disappeared. Like, hello, John. Anybody home? When you hire the new intern at the office and they, uh, they approach with your coffee. I got your coffee for you! Okay, alright, this bile spew, apparently. I've been, I've been so focused on roar, I forgot that there's other stuff here. Alright, E for bile spew. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this stuff? I don't remember ever seeing an update that mentioned noxious disintegrating gas. What? It actually disintegrates the buildings, too. Oh, and, all right, well, there goes the rest of the building. All right, now left shift for rampage sprint. Here we go. All right, there's normal walking, then rampage sprint. Whoa. Did you see, like, the swirly things that appeared around the feet? Let me try it again. Ready? Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, that's doing something else as well. That's also really interesting. Okay, up next is Magic Circle. This is made by the Septic Mech 24. A work in progress. Well, let's see how much progress we've made. This does not look like a Magic Circle to me right now. But we're gonna go ahead and... Um... Oh, boy. Why are there so many controls. All right, WASD seems to do nothing. I'm worried. N. All right, nothing's happening. E, T. Oh, the meter just went up. Y. Oh, got the magic circle. So I gotta hold it down? What is, what is that there? I don't understand what that is. Here, let me go into build mode real quick. What is this? Concealer. That's a new part to me. Red laser. All right, we got concealer, logic gauge, gyroscope, pivot point, effects. Mmm, here we go. So this affects a uh, block. You have different types of particles and emission shapes, like particle emitters. So this must be where all that stuff is coming from. Mm, you can change the color. Oh, interesting. Wow. All right, I guess the work in progress is we have a magic circle with a little orb. And I guess we'll, at some point it's going to do something with that circle in the orb. Oh. 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 Oh, it does a thing already. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I pushed more buttons to see what happened. Apparently, I have to press E while I press Y. Wait, what if I turn this up? Okay, I think it's relatively the same. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, up next is the XO45 Patriot Mark 1. This is by Not Hunky. Apparently, this is also related to Helldivers 2. So, let's try it out. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, and let's go ahead and walk. Whoa. Oh, wait, I didn't even... Oh, we have mouse controls. I didn't even realize I was pressing my right mouse button. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know why I'm doing the sound effects. It literally has the sound effects built in. All right, R. Oh, that's aiming. Oh, we can turn and aim up and down with that. All right, classic mech. How is it walking into buildings? Interesting thing is that the, um, the arrows are all right as far as, like, uh, turning the thing, but the A and D actually has the opposite effect. I, when I press A, the torso turns to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate destruction. This is instruments of destruction after all. All right, this next one looks pretty unique. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this isn't even what I thought it looked like. What? This is not what I thought. Dragonfly mech. This is by Poddle. It can fly, walk, has a rail gun, and can generate a black hole. What more would you expect from a dragonfly? Okay. Why is this called the Dragonfly Mech? I'm not getting Dragonfly vibes yet. This looks insane, though, to control. Whoa, what's going on down here? You see that? Okay, let's walk forward. Okay, two front and back legs. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we can turn a little bit to um, fly forward. Oh, hold on a second. Maybe up is to fly. Oh, no, that's to aim. Whoa. Oh, this thing is a separate... Oh, I, it look, I can see the dragonfly aesthetic now. I was seeing the legs as part of it. This is like a dragonfly attached to, like, a leg system. That's really interesting. Split and fly. All right, hold on. Let's do railgun. Q. What? Oh, that looks cool, too. Is that the exhaust? It's got to cool down. It's overheating. 
All right, I want to do the split and fly thing now. All right, G. Wow, this uses the particle effects in some really interesting ways. Now I can see the dragonfly effect, although these don't really look like dragonfly wings. But I can see it. First person cam, huh? Whoa. Cool view. Interesting. Uh, black hole. Just like right where I'm aiming, it creates a black hole. Interesting. Oh, you can kind of see it forming. Oh, wow. It like builds up too. Oh, that's interesting. All right, and railgun at the same time. It is very slow to fly forward. We have it on one game speed. It's probably because I destroyed all the buildings and it's laggy right now. And like even this down here, that's super cool too. There's a lot of super cool stuff with this one. Oh, the wings have kind of like settled down into more of a shape instead of like a, a gaseous blob. Okay, up next, this is something that looks very, very different for Instruments of Destruction. Here we go. Oh, I probably am in the wrong map. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm in the wrong map. Let's go over to... Oh, no way. This is... The Super Nintendo, or the Nintendo Duck Hunt. Oh, this is so cool. All right, we got to transition to a different map. Okay, here we go. I hope this is appropriate. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. Uh, oh. It's screaming at me. Okay, but anyways, this is by Stefan. Press S to start the game. Use arrow keys for aiming. Press F to fire. All right, ready? S to start the game. Okay. Arrow keys for aiming. Oh, hold on. The game just opened. We got to like wait. Do I have to hold S the whole time? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. F to fire. Okay. The aiming isn't working right now. I don't know why. I'm going to try to respawn it in. It feels like I broke something. Okay. Maybe I have to wait. It looks like this is a timer that is being turned. All right. It's up right now as if like this is going to be like a sand timer. My arrow keys do not work yet is what I'm concerned about, though. Kind of curious if I go behind. Oh, look at all the ducks. Look at the ducks behind there. I want to see this work, but I don't know. If, I don't know how long I have to wait or if I did it wrong. There's only like one button. S. Okay. Firing works. Oh, that's ammo. Okay, that's what the ammo is. All right, well, despite the actual game part of it not working, this alone would have been an amazing creation by itself. It looks so good, like the details of the ridges and everything. And then even the controller, the gun controller with like the aiming sight and everything. And then let me get a look at the ducks back here. These ducks are interesting, aren't they? All right, but we're going to move on to another creation. I gave it a chance. I tried a couple times. It, it didn't work as the, in the instructions were unclear. Okay, up next is a Cessna. And this is probably the best looking plane I've seen in this game. Most planes are like, you can, you just see all like the, the actual building parts very clearly. This one, I, you don't really see just smooth panels like this very often. So I'm curious if it flies as good as it looks. And this is also by Agent Taco, fully functioning seaplane based on the real thing. S to pull up, G for ignition, F for cockpit cam. All right, here we go. G for ignition, S to pull up. Oh, and there we are. We are in the air. Don't let your speed drop below 400 and don't take turns too hard. It's a Cessna. It requires some flight skill and knowledge. Well, I'm doing... I'm flying. <laughs> I was going to say I'm doing amazing, but I'm rapidly losing altitude right now. Okay, hold on. Is there a better camera? for? That's not the camera for this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It said don't turn too sharp. I'm trying to turn sharp right now, though. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Taxi control, what's F do? Oh yeah, that's the uh the pilot cam. Here we go. This is better. I like the I like this view better. Ooh, this isn't too bad. Got our controls there. This is actually a pretty nice view. I wonder if I can land this thing. I should have chose the desert where there's land all around me. Now I actually gotta like be precise. Alright, turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I tried to turn too sharp. Did you, like, intentionally program that? Let's try not to turn too sharp. Where's land? There's land. I don't even think I could turn sharp enough to get over there. Okay. All right, I'm going. I'm going for it. I'm going for a landing. Ah! <laughs> Nailed it. Up next. Whoa. 
Whoa, this is the TCCH Vorax Maxima. And this is also by Arad. Getting heavy Dune vibes from this one. It goes as Max right over here too. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh, okay. Jaws open, jaws close, hold art, remerge. Oh, it jumps. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, this is interesting. All right, emerge. An E, jaws open. Oh, that's great. Jaws close. It's kind of, I wish I could just uh, like swim across the surface. Whoa! Oh, the effects, the particle effects of where I'm going is such a good detail. That's awesome. All right, ready, here we go. Ah. The sound of its jaws closing is pretty epic. All right, we actually, hold on. We gotta try to destroy something with this. This is an instrument of destruction after all. All right, I'm assuming wherever this thing is. Oh, you can, act, well, you can see the smoke trails too. All right, ready, emerge. Oh, we were so close. It's hard to tell where it's gonna be. All right, this way, emerge. Oh my goodness, I'm right next to the building, come on. Why is it always right next to the building? Okay, I think I'm here. Ready? Emerge. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh, that is all I wanted to see out of this thing. All right, I got one more creation to look at, and I saved it last for a reason, because this might break the game. The lag tester. And this is it. This is a lag tester. This is what it looks like. So this is made by Rosley Othman, someone who uh, I've looked at plenty of their creations before. Always quality stuff. So what is a quality lag tester going to feel like for, for my computer here? Well, let's spawn it in and see what happens. I don't even know if I got to push buttons. Okay. E is the only button. Three, two, one, E. Oh, do I got to hold it down? That was pretty cool. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to hold it. Let's look. Let's take a look down there first, though. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Whoa. Well, we're definitely losing frames. Wow, look at that. I like how it just like comes in bursts. There used to be a number that told you how many projectiles you've fired. It's not there anymore. That would have been useful for this one. All right, I think I got to start. I think I got to start saying goodbye because the frames are definitely like, look at it. It's just rain right now. We are raining. All right. Well, let me know which creation was your favorite down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.